In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a recently released Blender add-on called the Particle Library, created by Lewis Martin, the developer behind the Cinepack and the Truefire add-ons. This time, he came up with a collection of over 50 particle animations packed in one library that we're gonna talk about in this video. First of all, the assets are organized into 8 categories displayed as filters with multiple sections. In the frame underneath is shown the selected asset. By clicking on it, you will open the library where you can choose of any pre-animated particles, each with its own thumbnail and icons giving you more information about the particles. With one of them selected, you can either preview the effect or import it to the scene. The preview button will open up the GIF showing you the animation. In the second drop-down, you will find none of the texture through the objects the add-on has to offer, including seven rigged and animated animals and insects. You can import them to your scene with one click and use them as particle objects. If you select a particle emitter, a third drop-down menu shows up in the add-ons and panel, giving you a quick access to the render settings of the particles. The idea behind this add-on is similar to Cinepax, which is to provide artists with customizable and ready-to-use assets that can be used in their projects directly out of the box or used as a foundation for more complex and custom animations. With that being said, we can distinguish three types of assets in this library. Base particle systems, particle systems with particle objects, and physics simulations. The base particle systems type includes the abstract, paths, and explosions categories, as well as fire and water animated particles. You can assign the objects from the library presets or even use your own objects. Whereas the second type of particles with animated objects, you can find pretty realistic bird flocks, fish swarms, mosquito swarms, and birds, sparks, and also weather particles such as rain and snow. For the physics simulation particles, there are multiple variations of textured papers, and when you import any of them, a collision collection is also created where you would want to put objects that interact with the trash such as the street ground or anything in your scene. And if a lot is going on in your scene, you can of course change the collections and organize them as you wish. But keep in mind that the optimization is quite important, keeping each collision object in the simulation in one collection can save you time and effort. The simulated objects include newspapers, plastic bags, bank checks, and sticky notes. Using these few ones only, you can create very cinematic and realistic looking scenes within minutes. The developers and artists who work on add-ons like these aren't only delivering a tool, but also ideas and inspiration for users to create beautiful art efficiently and more easily. What's great about these animations is that they are very customizable and easy to use. Not only do you use them to work properly with one click, but you can also move them, rotate or scale them with ease, as each asset has an empty object to which all the emitters, force fields and particle objects are parented. The only minor bug I found with the add-on's asset browser is when you select all the categories at once with shift plus click and drag, the thumbnails are broken and don't select the particles they are showing. But there is no reason for you to select everything when you are working with the add-on. So just avoid selecting all the categories at once if you want to import an asset. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.